Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tarot. I am here to do um, a reading for Leo. Leo, this is your um, love reading for the month of March 2021. I already pre-shuffled. Um, I'm going to be doing uh, the Universal Energy. What's crowning you and your person for the month of March. I'm going to pull on what was going on with, with you and your person in the past. And what's the likely outcome for the month of March. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to pull on it. I'm going to clarify it. And then I'm going to close it out with an oracle. So, what's the universal energy? What's the energy for Leo and their person for the month of March? What's crowning Leo and their person? Queen of Swords, sharp and assertive. Um, you guys could be... The Queen of Swords is usually the ex. So, I don't know. You guys could be um, the ex. Both of y'all. Y'all broke. Y'all could have broken up in the past. If this is not you guys being the ex-lover, like you and your person has, has broken up, this is like what it is. You guys are being very logical, getting to the point, speaking your truth, cutting things out. You guys are being sharp and assertive. This is the sheer energy between you guys. Being logical. What was going on with Leo in the past? What was going on with Leo in the past concerning their person? What was going on with Leo? Nine of Wands. Leo, you could have been um, very defensive against your person. If you was not defensive against your person, it was like um, you was fighting for the relationship. Nine of Wands is someone who is um, not giving up. You may be weary, trials and tribulations, but it's like you, you was putting in effort. You put in a lot of effort. You put in Nine of Wands. You was holding on. That's what I want to say. Nine of Wands. You was either defensive against the relationship or you was defending the, the relationship. So you was Nine of Wands. What was going on with Leo's person in the past? Leo's person past energy concerning Leo, the relationship. Seven of Cups, fantasy and contemplation. So, Leo, I don't know. Your person could have had options in love. This could be telling me your person could have had options in love. Your person was a probably bit, maybe not in reality. They could have been... Um, they could have had addictions. Clarify Seven of Cups for Leo's person in the past. Okay, I'm going to take Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Um, I'm getting, your, birth, your person could have been under some type of, I'm getting not in reality about the relationship. Um, Leo, your person either had options in love. Or they were, like, probably not fair, not intuitive concerning the relationship. They were seven of cups, so that's like an illusion. That's confusion. It's like they probably wasn't focused on the relationship as you wanted them to be. Clarify nine wands for Leo in the past. Clarify this nine of wands. Why was Leo nine wands in the past? Seven of Wands. Yeah, you was defensive. I'm getting a little bit. You was defensive against your person in the past. You was very passionate for your person, but I think it could have been their personality. Either your person was a repeated offender, like they always cheated on you, they always got caught, and you was just... You wanted to work on the relationship, but I'm getting your person made it un, unbearable for you. Yeah, that's what I'm getting a little bit. Like I said, they could have had addictions. Your person in the past could have had addictions. Um, What's the likely outcome for Leo in the month of March? 
concerning that person. The devil. Um, Leo, this could be you. You could probably have a third party. This could be you angry with your person. Or you could be obsessing with your person. Over your person. So you devil energy. What's the likely outcome for um, Leo's person for the month of March concerning Leo? Magician. Leo, if you guys broke up and y'all the ex to each other, you could have a, somebody else. So, your person might want to get back together with you and you have a, a somebody else. That's what that could be telling me. Because your person likely outcome, they probably want to manifest something. Maybe getting back together. But I'm going to see what that Queen of Swords is. Clarify the Queen of Swords with Aries in their person energy, their common energy. Tell me about this Queen of Swords energy. Page of Wands. Um, <laughs> I'm getting Leo. You and your person have broken up. Y'all probably still in contact. Um, Y'all probably still got a thing for each other. Um, but I'm getting you guys are the ex to each other. So, Leo, in the month of March, you are single. You and your person is probably single. But you guys are optimistic. You guys are optimistic. Um, you could be being logical about, a past, uh, about starting over. You guys are being logical. And I'm getting y'all being, I'm, I want to say common sense. You guys are using your common sense about the possibility of a new beginning because I'm getting, Leo, you and your person been through a lot. That's what I'm getting. Y'all been through a lot. So it's like at this point in March, you guys are thinking logically. Like, is it worth it? Y'all know what y'all went through in the past. And you guys are thinking logically. Y'all not in y'all emotions about Y'all history, y'all thinking logically, y'all using y'all common sense about the possibility of starting over. Um, what was going on with the Nine of Wands and um, Seven of Wands for Leo in the past? What is this? What was going on with Leo in the past with that person? The devil. Um, the devil done came out twice, Leo. Um, I don't know, Leo. Maybe you could have been the one on drugs. Or has some type of addictions. Um, um, cause you come that up as devil in the past and in the present, Leo. So you could be obsessed with your person. You could be obsessed with your person. Or Leo. I'm gonna see what this devil is. What is this devil energy with Leo in the past? Is this obsession? What is this devil energy with Leo? Is this obsession? No. Is this being possessive? The devil energy. Is this possessiveness? Yeah. Um. Leo, in the past, you was very defensive. Very possessive over your person. This devil energy is you being possessive. Possibly even overly possessive. Because the devil... <laughs> if you don't have Capricorn in your chart, you could have Capricorn in your chart, Leo. But if you do not have Capricorn in your chart, this is letting me know you had devil energy with you. And you was probably overly possessive um, towards your person. Probably even jealous. That's why these wands here. This is a lot of wands with the devil energy. Or this could be, um, let me see. Because I'm getting probably a little bit of sexually. The devil, Leo energy in the past. Was this like a sexual addiction? Was this a sexual addiction? Because wands is passion. Yeah. Yeah, Leo, you was, um, you was very dominating in the bedroom, about the bedroom. 
you probably have sex addictions. You want to have per sex with your, with your person a lot. That's what I'm getting in the past with you, Leo. <clears throat> Clarify the devil. Tell me more about the devil in the past. Yeah, the world. Um, the devil in the world. Um. Um, I'm getting a little bit, Leo, the devil in the world. You probably came on very strongly to your person, possibly even to the point of maybe even marriage. Um, I'm getting a little bit, you wanted to rush things. Like, you was devil energy about the world. The world is about um, closing out a cycle, success. I'm getting you as very pushy, possessive. But um, it was mainly your sexual... You allowed your sexual desire for your person to rule the relationship. You was driven by your sexual appetite. And I'm getting you probably wanted to rush. Possibly even marriage. But you was very sexually attracted to this person, to your person. What was going on with Leo's person in the past? Seven of Cups and Ten of Pentacles. Eight of Swords, yeah. Mm -hmm. Eight of Swords and King of Swords. Um, your person could have been scared of you, scared of you Leo. Because this Eight of Swords. So this is like them feeling... Like trapped. This is them not knowing how to get out of a situation. Allowing something to go on for too long. Doing something for too too many times. This is self-inflicted. I'm getting, Leo, that your person, you had them nine swords. So that's mental turmoil. That's a lot of mental conflict. They probably was... A, a tad bit afraid of you, paranoid by you, Leo. Maybe even feeling like a sex slave, possibly, Leo, your person. I mean, did you let them leave the bed? You probably had them tied to the bed, Leo. Your person was eight swords. So, this is them trying to figure out how to get out the situation. If you was, like, overly possessive and wanting to have sex all the time, your person was in their head about that. Like, I don't know if you could have been border, borderline, um, um, I want to say fatal attraction or, well, possessive, is, that, that's enough. Somebody that's possessive. Um... Yeah, because they really, your person, Leo, I'm getting this King of Swords. They really wanted to speak their truth to you or possibly even cut you out, like break up with you. But I'm getting, this is confusion. Your person probably was confused. So it's like, what I'm getting, Leo, your person was confused. You had them, you was, they were intimidated by you. And I'm getting, they didn't know how to speak their truth to you. Or they would, they were scared to cut you out or cut you off. They wanted to break up probably. And they were seven of cups. Fantasy and temptation. I'm getting a little bit from your person in the past. They couldn't finish something they started. They, that's what I'm getting a little bit that seven of cups. Because I'm getting this seven of cups, your person could have seduced you. But it's like once y'all probably slept together, Leo, you just was very attracted to this person. And you like, um, they wasn't expecting you to react the way you reacted. Because I'm getting seduction with the seven of cups as well. So they could have wanted to seduce you and you probably just got hooked on them. But I'm getting it was all sex, though. Y'all probably was, like, talking about, you know, marriage and, you know, building 
this Ten of Pentacles, but it's like y'all couldn't concentrate on the practical aspect of it because y'all was having a lot of sex. That's what I'm getting. And your person was eight swords. I don't know, Leo. You could have had them tied up. You could have probably kidnapped them. I'm just playing. And they probably had to call the cops. <laughs> don't have to be to that extent. But you, your person was scared of you for a second. I'm getting because they. that's what I want to say. They lit your flame. That's what they did sexually. And when you got started, your person wanted to seduce you. But then when they seduced you, now they paranoid. They ate swords like that. I shouldn't have never did that. Give me the current energy, the likely outcome for Leo and their person. What's going on with Leo and Mark, the likely outcome? Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. Um, Leo, you still obsessed with this person. And I'm getting... um. You and your person, y'all have the potential... You guys have the potential to build and be practical. Like, y'all have the potential to get married. You know, be a couple. But, Leo, I'm getting... You are likely to use this Ace of Pentacles to get with... To, to feed your obsession with your person. Because you still thinking about sex, Leo. But you might use this Ace of Pentacles. This Ace of Pentacles is you buying your person a car... Um, giving them some money, proposing to them, but it's like devil energy. This is like to feed your obsession. Or you can be obsessed with your person, maybe even possibly wanting to marry them. If you are a male or watching this, you probably want to marry your person, possibly even get them pregnant. If you're a female watching this, you probably want to, you probably want your person to get you pregnant or you want to marry your person. But you're, you you want to use this Ace of Pentacles to to um feed your um desires. This Devil energy still here. Yeah. <clears throat> Clarify this Ace of Pentacles. What is this Ace of Pentacles? What is this Ace of Pentacles? Leo want to offer to their person. What is this Ace of Pentacles? Strength. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um. What I'm getting from this. This is to Leo, for example. Say like you want to. You and your person broke up. It's letting me know y'all ex. Y'all the ex to each other. So it's like the safe face. Your likely outcome. You are going to use this Ace of Pentacles. Like I said, this could be you wanting to ask your person out for a date. You know, wanting to get them some money, wanting to buy them a car, a house. But you're using this to control your desires. Like your possessiveness, your um, your obsession about this person. You're using, you're cloaking this devil energy with this Ace of Pentacles. That's what I'm getting. Because you really just want to jump your person's bones. You're really attracted to your person sexually. You want to have sex with them. That's that's what I'm getting. Um, What's the likely outcome for Leo's um person in the month of March? Why is Magician here? What is the likely outcome for Leo's person? Ten of Swords. Um, this could be a painful ending. This could be your person end, ending things with you, Leo. Or this could be your person feeling betrayed. And, um, since I know you was probably very sexually dominating, you want to have sex a lot, Leo. Your person could feel used. Like, they probably feel used by you. Because in the past, you had them in eight swords. Well, really, nine swords. They was nine swords. So this up late at night stressing, somebody can't eat, they can't think, they can't sleep, having nightmares. And now they ten swords. In the present, they ten swords. 
So I don't know if your person is feeling confused. I mean, feeling used by you. So if you offer your person this Ace of Pentacles, what I'm getting, your person might have a flashback. That's what I'm getting from this Ten of Swords. Your person might have a flashback, Leo, to when you had them in Nine Swords, when you were stressing them out. When you was being possessive and possibly even wanting to have sex all the time. Because I'm getting, Leo, a little bit. You probably like your person, but they didn't feel loved by you because you always, want, you always wanted to have sex. So I'm getting with this Ten of Swords, they feel used. They feel used. Whether you are male or female. Um, what's this Ten of Swords for Leo person? That fell on the floor, not picking up. What's this Ten of Swords with Leo's person? The Emperor. Yeah, the Emperor. Um, this is like domination. This is control. This is dominance. So like I said, I'm getting Leo. If you make them an offer, your person might have a flashback. And they might feel betrayed because they seeing you trying to dominate them. The emperor is very controlling. So I think they having a flashback. Your person. Or they're just going to... The magician. What is this magician? Is this Leo's person manifesting something? Nope. So your person is trying to manipulate. Or they might just lie to you. They might lie to you. Is this magician um, manipulation for Leo's person? Is this magician manipulation for Leo's person? Yeah, your person is going to... That's like, for example, Leo, your person don't have good memories of you. Um, so, say like if you make them this offer, Leo. If you make them this offer, whatever that Ace of Pentacles is, they are going to... They're going to manipulate something, but I'm getting they're going to lie to you because they don't want to deal with your devil energy. That's what I'm getting. So this is like them telling you, um, no, I'm not feeling good. You know, my family member passed away. I got to go to a funeral. I'm, I'm grieving. This is like this magician energy is like manipulation. So it's like. To get you off their back, they might tell you some sob story. Like, you know, a co-worker just died. Somebody just died. You know, I'm not in the mood for love. I'm hurt. I'm heartbroken. That's what I'm thinking your person is going to do. Because it's like, this could be them posing as heartbroken, feeling betrayed. Because that's that could be their way of gaining control of the situation. Or they're going to lie to you about this Ten of Swords. Because they view you as this emperor. And the emperor is very controlling. So they going to tell you something, Leo, but it's not going to be true. It's like they are going to let you down easy. They don't want to be harsh to you and stuff like that. They just, your person, Leo. I don't mean to keep saying it like that. But your person, you had them in nine swords. Nine swords is not good. You stress this person out, Leo. So, and like I said, this Ten of Swords is, I, they, I think they feel used by you. They feel used. Um, do Leo person view them as the emperor? Do Leo person view them as the emperor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like I said, they're going to play sick. I don't know. They might um, fake their death. <laughs> they might, Leo. This is Ten of Swords. This is like somebody. Um, Like I said, I don't know. You don't, they might fake their death. They might. Um, 
you know, fall off the face of the earth. I don't know. But it's a manipulation. They want you to think something is like. They're going to tell you something, but it's not going to be true. But it's to keep you at bay because they view you as this emperor. So, like I said, the emperor is very controlling. So, they're just going to fake. I don't know. They might fake their death. They might tell you somebody else died in their family. Um, Make you think they're in mourning. They're heartbroken. They're going to tell you something. But it's not going to be true. So, let me hurry up. I'm going to... Um, let me just uh, shuffle this deck. Because I'm going to end y'all reading with an oracle. I'm going to close it with an oracle. And I'm getting from you, Leo, in the month of March. Your likely energy. I'm getting you. You're probably aware of your sexual urges or your offense against this person. I'm getting you're aware of it. So you're going to try to tame it. You're going to try to try to tame it. Yeah. Or you could have mastered it. Like you could have tamed it. It's still there, but you learn how to control it. That's what I'm getting. But that devil energy about you, Leo, your person don't like that devil energy. And, I, and the cards told me it was possessiveness. They don't like that. So you're containing it. You're controlling it, but it's still, it's telling me it's still there. So Leo monthly reading, love reading for the month of March. Give me an oracle for Leo past energy. Nine one seven one devil in the world. I'm not picking that up. Communication. Communication. Um. So communication clarified your energy in the past, Leo. So like I said, you had your person nine swords in the past. They ten swords in the present. You could have, um, like I said, your devil energy. The cards told me your devil energy was possessiveness. So, what you could have been doing to your person was calling them all the time, texting them all the time, emailing all the time. This is what, it's the communication. It's communication. Um, you probably wanted to keep tabs on them. If they didn't answer your phone, if they didn't answer their, their phone when you call, it probably was an issue. That's what I'm getting from this communication in the past. Like you wanted to communicate with this person a lot. Um, give me an oracle for Leo's person in the... What? Give me an oracle for Leo's person in the past. Seven of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, King of Swords. Vibrations. Vibrations. Um, let me see what this vibrations card. Because I think. Is this vibrations? Um. um Is this vibration seduction? Is this seduction? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Leo, your person, that's what I got. Your person, what I'm getting happen in y'all relationship. Your person seduced you, Leo. And that's what this is. It's like, I'm, it's not saying that they, you was the prey. But it's like they seduced you. This is like, for example, a female out in a bar and she approach a guy. She's the initiator. 